Okay, so this is just going to be an updated version of how I style and take care of my hair. Out of all the requests I get here on YouTube, this is like the number one request is to do a video um, just on how I do my hair each day. And I usually put it off just because I really don't do anything to my hair. It just is the way it is. Uh, today, all I have done is shampooed and conditioned my hair, and you can see it's just naturally wavy. It looks just about the same as it does in any other video of mine. It might just not be as volumized because I haven't blow dried it or put in my powder. Um, but this is how it naturally is every day. So I just want to make sure that you know that just because I use the products that I use doesn't mean that they're going to work the same on you and your hair because it's obviously going to be quite different from mine. So I'm not saying that to put anyone down. I just want you to have realistic expectations when watching this video. This is just what I use. I don't really think the products that I use make a huge difference because I honestly don't even really use like a key styling product that gives me my waves. I just kind of work with what I've got. Um, but I wanted to do it anyways because it is requested so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So I think I'm just going to start with when I hop in the shower. I use conditioner and shampoo obviously. For conditioner this is just an example. It's the Aussie 3 Minute Moist Miracle Deep Treatment Conditioner. Um, I just like the deep conditioners because I feel like my hair is really damaged, which it probably isn't. I think it's kind of healthy because I don't do a whole lot to it, but I just kind of like the idea that it's getting in there and really treating my hair. So I use this or I use the L'Oreal Deep Repair Conditioner, the one that comes in that huge bottle. I really like that one as well. For shampoo, I don't have anything with me, um, but I use the organic shampoo because they don't have sulfate in them. So, um, they don't dry out my scalp. <clears throat> I really like the tea tree one because it smells amazing, so I've been using that one lately. And I only shampoo my hair every other day um, because I don't want my scalp to try and overcompensate with oils. Because when you use shampoo every day, it strips your natural oils away. And I'm not like an expert or anything, but, <clears throat> but that's what I've been told and that's what I've heard. So, I kind of stick with that idea. Um, to also help protect my hair, I do use heat, heat protectant, um, they're both by Tresemme, so the first one is the Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Tamer Leave-In Spray. When I'm in a hurry, um, to, to get out the door, I usually blow dry my hair, it's just faster. Um, today I'm letting it naturally kind of air dry, but usually most days I'll blow dry it now. So to protect my hair from the heat, I'll spray this all throughout the bottom and just kind of get it in there and it has heat protection up to 450 degrees so and it's really affordable too which I like um, this other one I love I will repurchase this over and over and over again it's the Tresemme Thermal Creations heat protectant volume boosting mousse I love this stuff basically it's just a mousse I spray it in my hand I rub it all throughout my roots down back here and up front and everywhere pretty much and I'll flip my hair over and blow dry it, and it gives me a really nice volume that's not over the top. It's kind of natural. It's just the right amount for me, so really like this one. And I do recommend this one no matter what kind of hairstyle or whatever, that what look you're going for. This is really good. So I really like that one a lot, and definitely recommend that one. That's not going to disappoint you um, at all, so really like that. Moving on... Um, I guess to styling my hair, there are two products I've been using lately, um, Aussie Miraculously Smooth Styling Mousse, and basically any styling mousse is what I'll use. I might buy something completely different next time because I'm almost out of this. Um, I just like mousses because I feel like they distribute through my hair more evenly, and they're just easier to work with. This one doesn't make my hair sticky, but it gives me a nice hold. Um, I, it's not giving me any more wave to my hair. It's just kind of holding what I do have in place. So that's kind of what I go for, but I also switch it up too. So um, <laughs> there's no like styling product that I use that gives me the waves that I have. It's just kind of whatever works that day, works that day. Um, this is another one, and this is what I use when I take a shower at night and the next morning I'm getting ready to go, but my hair is kind of weird. It's like half straight, half wavy. Um, I'll spray this in there, and it's the John Frieda Frizz Ease Dream Curls Curl Perfecting Spray. I bought this on, at Walgreens for $3.50, but they still have it. I think it's normally like $7. 
Um, I really do like this stuff. I'm almost out, but I've, I'll probably repurchase this one just because I can kind of see the difference. And I don't know if it's the actual ingredients in the product or if it's just because it's mostly water and it's just re-dampening my hair. Um, but either way, I do really like it. So I'll repurchase that. And I, I just use that on my dry hair when I kind of want to reshape it. Um, that's really kind of all the styling products I use. Um, sometimes I'll use these dry oils. So I have the Moroccan Argan Oil, which I'm almost out of. But this is by Organics, and it's amazing. This is a really fantastic product, and I love it. It's the best smelling hair care product I have ever purchased in my life. It smells so clean and so fresh. When I wear this, people kind of ask me what I have in my hair because it smells good. So even if it's not doing a good job protecting split ends and all that, it smells amazing, and that's like reason to buy it, in my opinion. Um, I also have been using the Brazilian Keratin Therapy Shimmering Keratin Oil by Organics, and I've been using quite a bit of this. And I like it because it's supposed to give your hair a luminescent finish, but it also has keratin in it, so I just kind of think that it's doing something to my hair. It could possibly not be doing anything at all, but I like it all the same, so I've been using that, and... Um, I think that's kind of all I spray into it. Um, to get more volume to go along with the volume boosting mousse, I love the Got To Be Powder Full by Got To Be. Um, it's a volumizing styling powder. I get mine for like 4 bucks at Walmart. A really great product. It's just powder and what I do is I'll just tap a little bit in my hand and I'll like get into my roots and it just lifts it a little bit more and gives me the nice volume that I like. So I definitely recommend these two products for volume. I think they'll work on any hair type. really like those a lot. Um, and really that's kind of everything that I use. I'm looking in, I have like a container full of my hair care products, but most of this stuff I haven't been using lately. Um, there is one more thing though. Right here, okay. So this is the wet brush, and I got mine at Ulta. It's normally like $10. Um, this is a fantastic brush. Before I get in the shower, and I probably should have mentioned this earlier, but before I get in the shower, I run this through my entire hair, and that way when I get out, I'm not brushing through any of the waves, um, because if I do brush my hair after I get out of the shower and try and style it, it's going to look really weird. So I brush. I always brush my hair before I get in the shower and never ever after. Um, but this is a fantastic brush. I love, this is my favorite brush of all time. I don't think I'll ever buy any other brush. It just, it gets all the knots out of my hair and I get a lot of knots at the end of the day or um, the next morning before I hop in the shower. I get a lot of knots uh, with my hair and this just combs through them without pulling or tugging or hurting at all. It does such a great job so I definitely recommend the wet brush. really like that one a lot but I think, I think that is everything that I use in my hair or have been using lately. Um, like I said, r honestly the only two styling products I use are a mousse and a Dream Curls Perfecting Spray. Um, so mostly my hair is just naturally wavy like this and it kind of does its own thing. I have noticed that when I leave it to do its own thing, it, ha it, get, it has gotten wavier. When I used to try and straighten it every day and then just kind of let it air dry, it would be like really straight and weird. But since I've stopped straightening it and stopped really messing with it and just let it do its own thing, it's gotten a lot more natural and wavy and beautiful in my opinion. So uh, that's my other tip I think is if you want to try and just let your hair go wavy and um, let it be natural, s stop straightening it and stop trying to mess with it. Just give it a few weeks to do its own thing and um, be patient with it and it will kind of, it'll kind of start to be more wave. At least that's what happened with mine. So that's basically everything that I can think of. Um, so I hope you guys found this video at least somewhat helpful and it's what you were kind of asking for when you requested it. Um, this is basically what I've been using for the past month and a half, maybe two months now. So um, I hope it helps you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!